last week we had the great privilege of listening to the first half of an interview between paul burlett, myself and jurgen keller, who is ninety years young, who is just an amazing mentor and real estate practitioner, someone who is really just a one of a kind individual. so i want you to be able to see the second half of the interview today. i hope you enjoy it. have a great day and thanks for tuning in. we'll ah we'll see you next time. so how does the truth play into that? the truth? well basically if you if you don't lie then there's no way for no no opening for doing wrong things. so that part is part of it. and i know you've said to me before always just rely on the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. that is exactly it. yes. perfect. perfect. so what do you have to say about negative thinking which we all occasionally participate in like on an hourly or minutely basis. what are your thoughts about negative thinking? Ne negative thinking? I don't. Uh, very, very simple. Uh, I have on my in my office something on the wall. You probably have seen it before. I didn't invent it, but it, it said, uh, it, I do, it, you do not have the luxury of negative thinking. And so I always uh, do positive. And, and uh, bottom line is, I suppose, your brain can only, can only work on one uh, thought at a time. You know, and so if you want to uh, have a, a, a positive thing, as soon as a, a negative thing comes into your mind, throw it out and replace it with some positive thinking. Excellent. And that's basically how we do. Excellent. And what are your thoughts about worrying? <coughs> worrying. <coughs> no time for that. <laughs> no, no. Well, that course uh, fits in with this, you know. Worrying is no good, yeah. and, and unfortunately, uh, most of the people do an awful lot of worrying, and the worrying really doesn't do anything. It just gets you all, all bent out of shape and all that. So just don't worry, and that's it. Perfect, perfect. So how would you advise people in dealing with a heartbreaking situation, for example? Hmm, that's a story. I have some good, good uh, experience with that. I had uh, back in Germany, where uh, Paul mentioned uh, initially, I used to be an opera singer back in Germany. And, uh, and after that, I, I, I sidestep a little bit. Uh, when I came into this country, I actually was hired by the Temple Sinai in Brookline to be uh, their cantor. Now, I cannot be a cantor because A, uh, I'm not Jewish, and, and B, my background is German. And that's probably not very good in a, in a, in a, in a, in a Jewish temple. But for 35 years, I was hired there to do that and uh, never had any problem with that. So they gave me a big party at the end. Uh, eight years ago, I left. And uh, uh, they actually made me a, a, an honorary uh, member of Temple Sinai in Brookline up in Boston. So that's kind of a, something to write home to about. But then, now, now let me get to that, uh, how I got the uh, singer. I, I, uh, for 10 years, I studied uh, a voice at the Music Academy in Hamburg, in Germany. And I had an old uh, teacher, old, she was 65 years. I'm the one who told me that. <laughs> <laughs> worked too well. But anyhow, the bottom line was, uh, and this, uh, I got the advice from her uh, 60, 63 years ago, and I still work it. Hi there, Paul Brulette here. Hope you enjoyed the excerpt from the interview with Jurgen Keller from Lair Realty Partners, our senior statesman here and our ambassador of Goodwill. Um, I hope that if you have any needs or questions regarding real estate, we can be of service to you. Feel free to call the number on the screen, or you can reach us at homesrs.com. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time, and have a great day.